हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ सुभाष नागर से फ्रॉम श्री दिगंबर जैन गुरुकुल प्रशाला सोलापुर आई शैल वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस सेशन ऑफ नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड मैथमेटिक्स पार्ट टू द टॉपिक इज बेसिक कंसेप्ट इन जोमेट्री पार्ट फर्स्ट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन बेसिक कंसेप्ट इन जोमेट्री कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ पॉइंट्स एंड डिस्टेंस बिटवीननेस एंड प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन द अबाउ content friends in this basic concepts in geometry part first it is very important topic the word geometry itself suggest the origin of the subject it is generated from the greek word geo means earth and metria means measuring so it can be guessed that the subject must have evolved from the need of measuring the earth that is the land the important points that we are going to discuss in this topic are point line and plane coordinates of a point and a distance betweenness conditional statements and converse proof today we will start with introduction to the geometry friends geometry was developed in many nations in different periods and for different constructions the first greek mathematician thales had gone to egypt it is said that he determined height of a pyramid by measuring its shadow and using properties of similar triangles you can see the figure of mathematician thales ancient indians also had deep knowledge of geometry in vedic period people had used geometrical properties to build altars the book shulbha sutra describes how to build different shapes by taking measurements with the help of a string in course of time the mathematicians aryabhatta varahmir brahmagupta and bhaskaracharya and other many have gone given valuable contribution to the subject of this geometry here are the figures of those mathematicians of india now we will continue with the basic concepts in geometry the fundamental geometrical concepts depend on three basic concepts point line and plane the term cannot be precisely defined however the meanings of these terms are explained through figures through examples so point is the first one we may think of a point as a dot on a piece of paper or the point pin point on a board in geometry we usually identify this point with a number or letter a point has no length width or height it just specifies an exact location it is zero dimensional every point needs a name to name a point we can use a single capital letter the diagram in the adjoining shows points p q and r now second line we can use a line to connect two points on a sheet of paper a line is one dimensional that is a line has length but no width or height in geometry a line is perfectly straight and extends forever on both directions a line is uniquely determined by two points to name a line pick any two points on the line for example line ab as you can see in the adjoining figure the third is plane a smooth flat surface gives an idea of a plane the surface of the table wall blackboard etc is smooth and flat it extends endlessly in all directions it has no length breadth or thickness here we have shown a portion of a particular plane we can draw certain figures like square rectangle triangle and circle on the plane hence these figures are also called a plane figures you can see in the adjoining figure friends now we'll continue with coordinates of points and distance you can observe this figure here you could see the point d 
on the number line denotes the number 1. So, it is said that 1 is the coordinate of point D. The point B denotes the number minus 3 on the number line. So, friends, the point E is 2 unit away from point E. It means the distance between point D and E is 2. Thus, we can find the distance between two points on a number line by counting number of units. To find the distance between two points, consider their coordinates and subtract the smaller coordinate from the larger. Observe this figure. We will consider the coordinates of point D and E are 1 and 3 respectively. We know that 3 is greater than 1. Therefore, distance between point E and D will be equal to 3 minus 1 that is 2. From the above examples, it is clear that the distance between two distinct points is always a positive number. Friends, note one more thing. If the two points are not distinct, then the distance between them is always 0. So, we will now see betweenness. If P, Q, R are three distinct collinear points, there are three possibilities. See, this is number one possibility where Q is between P and R. The second possibility, point R is between P and Q. And the third possibility is point P is between R and Q. If distance of PQ plus distance of QR means distance between point P and Q plus distance between point Q and R is equal to distance between point P and R then it is said that point Q is between P and R. So the betweenness is shown P, Q, R betweenness. In short, it means that if a point Q is between the points P and R, the length of line PQ plus length of line QR will be equal to the length of line PR. So friends, now let us see the different problems that are based till whatever we have been discussed. Now, the problem number 1, find the distance with the help of the number line given below. Distance between point B and E, distance between J and H, and third is distance between Q and P. The figure is like this. So, from this we are going to find out the distance between respective points. First one, the coordinate of the point B is 2. From the figure, the coordinate of point E is 5. From the figure we can see that one. So now since 5 is greater than 2, we can write distance between B and E is equal to 5 minus 2. Greater coordinate minus smaller coordinate. Therefore distance between B and E is equal to 3. It is the solution for first. Now second we will see coordinates of point J is minus 2 from the figure. Also the coordinate of the point H is minus 1 from the figure. Here we can say that minus 1 is greater than minus 2. Therefore, distance between J and H is equal to minus 1 minus of minus 2 in the bracket. So, which will be equal to minus 1 as it, this minus 1 has become plus that will be plus 2. Minus 1 plus 2. So, the result is distance between J and H is equal to 1. Now, third one from the figure. Coordinates of the point Q is minus 5. Coordinates of the point B is 2. As here 2 is greater than minus 5. Therefore, distance between Q and B is equal to 2 minus of minus 5, which is equal to 2 plus 5. So, distance between Q and B is equal to 7. Friends, we will see the next second problem. If the coordinates of A is X and that of B is Y, find distance between A and B. So, here X is equal to 1 and Y is equal to 7. This is the first Sub question second is x is equal to minus 3 y is equal to 7 and third is x is equal to minus 3 and y is equal to minus 6. Let us start with the number 1. Friends here the coordinates of the point a is x which is equal to 1 given. Then coordinates of the point b is y which is equal to 7. Therefore since 7 is greater than 1 we can write distance between a and b is equal to 7 minus 1. Therefore distance between point a and b is 6. We will now continue with the second. From the given information, coordinate of the point A is x which is equal to minus 3 for the second. Coordinates of the point B is y is equal to 7. Here we know that 7 is greater than minus 3. Therefore, distance between point A and B is equal to 7 minus of minus 3 which is 7 plus 3. So, distance between point A and B is equal to 10. 
now third one from the information coordinates of the point a is x which is equal to minus 3 coordinate of the point b is y which is equal to minus 6 we know that minus 3 is greater than minus 6 therefore distance between a and b is equal to minus 3 minus of minus 6 which is equal to minus 3 plus 6 therefore distance between a and b is equal to 3 so friends two problems we have been discussed now we'll see the third one from the information given below find which of the point is between the other two if the points are not collinear state so so first is distance between p and r is 7 distance between p and q is 10 and distance between q and r is 3 second example distance between l and m is equal to 11 distance between m and is equal to 12 distance between n and l is equal to 8 the third one distance between d and e is equal to 5 distance between e and f is 8 and distance between d and f is equal to 6 so we shall start first one distance between p and r is 7 distance between p and q is 10 and distance between q and r is equal to 3 it is given thing from these uh, three distances or length of the segment we can say that 10 is greater so we'll write first that one distance between p and q is equal to 10 equation 1 the remaining two addition distance between p and r plus distance between q and r is equal to 7 plus 3 which is 10 from 1 and 2 what you can say the right hand side is same that is 10 10 so left hand side must be equal therefore you can say that distance between p and q is equal to distance between p and r plus distance between q and r from 1 and 2 as this condition condition satisfies we can say that point r is between the point p and q so you can write p r q or q r p between this therefore the points p r q are collinear now see the second one distance between lm is equal to 11 distance between m and n is 12 distance between n and l is 8 it is given friends now here among these three distances distance between m and n is greater 12 this is equation 1 there is some addition of remaining 2 distance between lm plus distance between nl is equal to 11 plus 8 which is 19 2 from this equation 1 and 2 we can say that the right hand sides are not equal therefore we can write that distance between m and n is not equal to distance between lm plus distance between nl therefore the given points are not collinear see one more distance between d and e is 5 distance between e and f is 8 distance between d and f is 6 here the greatest is 8 therefore distance between e and f is equal to 8 equation 1 distance between d e plus distance between d f remaining the 2 is equal to 5 plus 6 which is equal to 11 so from 1 and 2 we can write that distance between e and f is not equal to distance between d e plus distance between d f therefore friends we can say that the given points are not collinear next we will see problem number four on a number line points a b and c are such that distance between a and c is 10 distance between c and b is 8 find distance between a and b considering all possibilities friends distance between a and c is 10 distance between c b is 8 it is given so here exist three cases case one Point A, B, C are such that A, B, C is the betweenness. Means B is between A and C. The figure will be like this. So A, C is 10 and B, C is 8. We can have to find out A, B. Friends, here distance between A and C is equal to distance between A and B plus distance between B and C. Therefore, we can write 10 is equal to distance between A, B plus 8. Therefore, distance between A and B is equal to 10 minus 8. Therefore, distance between A and B is 2. First case. Second case. Points A, B, C are such that A, C, B means point C is between A and B. The figure is like this. Here A, C is 10 and B, C is 8. So we will continue. Distance between A and B is equal to distance between A and C plus distance between C, B. Therefore, distance between A and B is equal to 10. A, C is 10 and B, C given 8. Therefore, distance between A and B is 10 plus 8 is 18. This two possible. Now third one. Yes, third. Points A, B, C are such that B, A, C is the between. The figure will be like this. B A C the B C is 8 which seems to be bigger and A C 10 but still shorter so friends here distance of A C is greater than distance of B C from the diagram actually 
which is not possible therefore point a is not between b and c this is false only two distance we can calculate that is 2 and 8 distance a b is 2 distance a b is 18 the third is not possible sketch proper figure and write the answers of the following questions number one if a b c is the betweenness l of a c is 11 l of b c is 6.5 and then find l of a b if r s t is the betweenness s t is 3.7 l of r s is 2.5 then you have to find l of r t if x y z is the betweenness l of x z is equal to 3 root 7 and l of x y is equal to root of 7 then you have to calculate l of y z first we have to draw the figure and then we have to calculate Friends, the first problem we will try. L of AC is equal to 11 and L of BC is 6.5. It is given and the betweenness is ABC. So, here we have to find out the AB. From the figure, you can write L of AC is equal to L of AB plus L of BC. Therefore, 11 is equal to L of AB plus 6.5. Therefore, L of AB is equal to 11 minus 6.5. 6.5 minus goes, it will become minus. Therefore, L of AB is equal to the subtraction of this two is 4.5. Secondly, RST is the betweenness and L of ST is 3.7 and L of RST is 2.5, it is given. Therefore, this is the figure where we have to find out the RT. Friends, from the figure, we can write L of RT is equal to L of RS plus L of ST, RST betweenness. Therefore, L of RT is equal to 2.5 plus 3.7. Therefore, L of RT is equal to 6.2. Now, third one. L of xz is equal to 3 root 7 and L of xy is equal to root 7 it is given and xyz is the betweenness xy root 7 and all xz is 3 root 7 we have to find out here yz from the figure L of xz is equal to L of xy plus L of yz therefore you can write 3 root 7 is equal to root 7 plus L of yz therefore L of yz is equal to 3 root 7 minus root of 7 therefore L of yz is equal to 2 root 7 so friends, I think what we have been discussed today is the introduction to geometry, then basic concepts in geometry, coordinates of points and distance, betweenness and problems based on the above content. You may try for these problems at the home. Point x, y, z are collinear such that L of x, y is 17, L of y, z is z, you have to find out L of uh, D of uh, x, z. On a number line, points A, B and C are such that distance between A and B is 5, distance between B and C is 11, distance between A and C is 6. Which is the, which of the point is between the other two? Third one, U, V and A are three sides. It is on a straight road. The distance between U and A is 215 km, between V and A is 440 km and between U and A is 75 km. Which of them is between the other two? One more, the coordinates of point A on the number line is 5. Find the coordinates of the points on the same number line which are 13 units away from A. I think you will try these problems. So before leaving, you should not forget the famous words by Dennis B. Kimbrough. Life is 10%. What happens to us? Very nice, huh? Life is 10%. What happens to us? And 90% how we react to it so be positive towards the life if you like this video please subscribe and share with these words i would like to say thank you